So this is Pixel Mash 2023.4, and in this release, we've added the Animate Transform Layer effect. And what this does is allows you to animate uh, basic things about the layer, such as the position, the rotation, and the scale, um, programmatically. You can enter values, and they will and it will animate it automatically. So, for instance, if you have a wheel rotating or a windmill, or uh, something, an object moving back and forth. You just enter the values rather than having to set up keyframes and it can be much more simple and straightforward. Uh, so here we've got a simple sprite by uh, PixelFrog, the artist PixelFrog at itch.io slash PixelFrog. And we've set here an animation with uh, 4 frames per second and 28 frames, so this animation is several seconds long. And in here in the layers we've added this Animate Transform Layer effect. That's the first one on the list. And this is what uh, the new feature is. And uh, let's take a look at the all the options here. So the first thing that we have here is du a duration. And by default, this is zero, which means infinite, which means that this uh, layers animation will run for the same length as the animation overall. But you can set this to a different value. So for instance, you can set this to one second, and this animation will only be one second, even though the whole animation is multiple seconds long. Um, we also have a repeat type, which is uh, what happens when this duration runs out. Default is loop, which means it will start back at the beginning, wherever it was. Um, there's also one shot, which means it will just end and uh, do nothing for the rest of the uh, overall animation. Uh, and then we've got Boomerang, which means it will go back and forth. Um, and then the three things you can animate are movement, rotation, and scale. Uh, movement is in pixels per second, rotation is in degrees per second, and scale is uh, scale per second. So for instance, uh, a scale of 1 is uh, stays the same size. So the speed here, if you set this to... Uh, for instance, 0 0.5, that means it will get half as big per second. And if you set it to 2, that means it will get twice as big per second. So let's go ahead and see how these work. Um, let's set this back to loop. Let's set this back to infinite. And let's look at rotation, because that's the most straightforward one, probably. Let's do, uh, I don't know, 30 degrees per second and take a look at our animation here. There's a little guy floating in space, rotating. 30 degrees per second. Um, so let's go ahead and set this duration to 1, and you'll see the difference here. So after 1 second, he starts back at the beginning, even though the total overall animation is longer than that. And then if we change this to one shot, it becomes even clearer because he just rotates for one second and then freezes like this for the rest of the animation, and then it starts over and he does it again. Um, and then Boomerang, you'll see him wiggling back and forth here. And obviously, if we set this faster, he will do that faster. Uh, and what that really means is he's, you know, moving faster, and then it's uh, wiggling at the same uh, one-second interval here. All right, so let's set that back to zero. Check out the movement. It's the same thing. So... We've got him boomeranging still. Let's go ahead and do just a loop here, and you'll see he loops every one second. Let's set this back to zero, and he's gone because he's moved off the screen there. Let's go ahead and set this back to one. Set this back to uh, boomerang. And we'll look at the last one, which is scale, 1.5. So he gets 1.5 times as large per second, and then boomerangs back or if we set it to loop, he will just do it like that. So uh, pretty straightforward and easy to work with, but this is, for anyone who's tried to uh, keyframe some of these things by hand, this is actually super, super handy. And since it's a layer effect, that means you can do a lot of interesting things, like you know have different animations for different layers, um, all easily set up. Or you can stack multiple of these on top of each other. So you could do, um, you know, rotation in a separate one from your movement and have them run for different lengths. Or you could switch the order around, drag this one up here, and uh, if it was if it was movement in one and rotation in the other, it would have a different look because the movement would happen first and then the rotation uh, rather than the other way around. So there's lots of things to play with, um, and we hope you'll take a look. Uh, that's it for this release. It's uh, 
available at neversender.com slash pixel mesh and uh, there's a free trial available as well and let us know what you think in the comments and thanks for watching